there, it's Alicia. Today I am talking about feeling so bored with your clothes and how to get out of that rut. So tell me if you can relate to this. Do you wear the same thing pretty much every day? Like you have maybe three or four things that you rotate, but it's pretty much all the same style. It's the same color. There's like little or no print and it all kind of looks the same. But despite the fact that you don't really love what you're wearing, you continue to do this. And this goes on for weeks, this goes on for months, and then you wake up one day and you realize that you're in a full-blown rut. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. How to get out of that rut and stop feeling bored with your clothes and start feeling inspired with what you wear. First, let me explain what a style rut is and what it is not. So before I was talking about how you reach for the same few pieces and you wear the same thing pretty much every day. And the reason that that makes it a rut is because that's not what you wanna wear. You don't wanna do that. You wanna do something else, but you don't really know how. You might even not realize that you're in a rut. You might be doing all of this on autopilot. On the flip side, I happen to enjoy wearing the same thing more than one day in a row. Like if I found a good outfit and I'm feeling really confident in it and I know that it works, I might wear it the next day. So that doesn't make me in a rut because I'm happy to put on the clothes. So the distinguishing character of being in a rut is when you're not happy with the situation. You feel powerless, you feel like you have no options, and you see no possibility. It's okay if you wear the same clothes more than one day in a row, like I do, as long as you're feeling good about it. I had women complain to me for months that they are not happy with the clothes that they're wearing, they're feeling bad about themselves, they're stuck in the rut wearing the same thing over and over again and they want to wear something else but they just don't know how so they'll talk to me for months about this before they'll finally bite the bullet and inquire about my styling service because this is what I do is I help women get out of their style ruts so that they feel amazing in everything that they wear but the reason that it takes people so long is because it is not easy to acknowledge that you're in a rut and what's even harder is acknowledging that you're ready to make the change and that's how you get out of your rut you have have to see yourself in the rut that you're in and then you have to acknowledge that you're ready to do something differently. Have you heard of Parado's principle? It says that we only wear 20% of our wardrobe 80% of the time. So that's definitely rut behavior. When you're only wearing 20% of your wardrobe 80% of the time, that means you're just wearing the same few things all the time. And if you are living like this, then you're playing small. You're living with a fixed mindset. And as you become aware that you really are only working with 20% of your wardrobe 80% of the time, then that can make you feel disempowered. And then when you're getting dressed, you've got this sense of disempowerment and that's what you're wearing each day. Nobody looks good in disempowerment. Now I'm gonna talk about how to break out of this rut, how to get out of wearing only 20% of the 80% of your wardrobe. Shift out of that fixed mindset that only looks at the 20% and start opening up to all the possibility that's in there. What else do you have in your closet? What else do you see on other people. Now it's time to get inspired with what others are wearing. You can look to your friends. Maybe you've got some really stylish friends that you like how they dress. You can look to social media on Instagram. You could look at Pinterest or maybe you've got um, celebrities or TV shows. I was watching that show Succession and I was obsessed with the daughter. I can't remember her name right now. Oh my gosh. But anyways, it's the daughter in Succession and I was obsessed with her style and the clothes that she wore. So look outside of yourself, find inspiration. This is going to help you shift out of that limiting mindset so you can see all the possibilities of what you can do with your style. Now I never encourage people to copy other people from head to toe because that never works but you can use what they're wearing as inspiration. So look closely at what they're wearing. Notice the details, the style elements. Pay attention to the colors, to the proportions, to the silhouettes. What do you like about what they're wearing? 
the woman in Succession, I loved the color palette that she wore. It was all very neutral and it was very clean, very pale colors, and I just thought it looked really beautiful. So start to notice what you love in what other people are wearing. Notice the details because personal style is all about the details. Do you like the way they wear their crossbody bag? Maybe they wear it up high so it's a little bit higher on their body. Notice these details. This makes all the difference when it comes time to getting dressed and defining your style. In addition to seeing things differently, so looking outside of yourself for inspiration, you're also gonna wanna start to do things differently. You're gonna wanna start to be more creative with what you have. This means getting into your closet, pulling things out that you maybe haven't worn in a really long time and try, try to put them into new outfits. The best way to do this is to start with something that you feel really comfortable in. So find a tried and true garment, something that you know works, it looks really good on you, and then get experimental, get, it, get creative with that piece. So start with your tried and true, then go to the back of your closet and bring in something else. See what you can put together. Be curious and open yourself up to new ideas. I love to start my styling experimentations with the phrase, I wonder what would happen if. So you've got your tried and true garment and then you go to the back of your closet and then you say, I wonder what would happen if I paired this striped skirt with my tried and true garment. And then you try it. And if that doesn't work, then you go back to the closet, to the back of the closet, ask yourself, I wonder what would happen if and then you try something else. You just keep doing this until you land on that outfit, till you get to that place where you're like, yes, this is so me. Being bored with your clothes is a state of mind, and the hardest part of change is acknowledging that it needs to happen. But once you see where you're at and that you're ready to move into something else, the possibilities will present themselves. A vision for your inspired style will emerge, and this will feel exciting, and it'll lead you to all the new possibilities that you can create for yourself. So I wanna hear from you. Tell me in the comments below, are you feeling bored with your style right now? I understand, it totally happens, it happens to me, it happens to a lot of women I know. Just tell me if you're feeling bored with your style and then let me know if you're willing to make the change. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope it inspired you to make the change and if it did, please give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Okay, bye.